10 Things That INFP People Always Do INFPs are often secretive and quiet individuals. We put too much value on our privacy and silence that people perceive us as the mysterious type. You might even face a challenge when befriending one of us, but fear not. An INFP herself will spill some tea about the things we fancy doing. If you happen to be interested in some of these INFP hobbies too, then I think you can develop a fairy tale bond with one faster than you say magic. 1. Daydreaming. Yes, we INFPs are full-time daydreamers. If you have met one and he or she happened to like you, chances are, he or she have already dreamed about frolicking in the forest and being alone with the birds with you already or daydreamed about having a coffee date with you at least. 2. Reading a book. You can hardly find an INFP who hasn't read a single book. Hardly. As daydreamers and idealists, we fancy getting lost in literature. The more idealistic or illusory the story is, the more we'd be into it. 3. Writing. One thing us INFPs do when we want to release a good or unpleasant feeling or thought is we write them down. And we do it quite a lot. We skip meals to write and sometimes, we even do not sleep to um, write. We'd write you a song or a poem. We might even write a book that's dedicated or about you, who knows? 4. Painting drawing. INFPs are creative people and as usually shy individuals, we often do not verbalize what is on our minds. Hence, we always try to find ways to release these things. It doesn't matter if we're good at it or not, we will always do something artsy with our hands. We are born to always create. Our projects go from just a simple doodle at the back of our history notebooks to a breathtaking colossal oil painting. It really just depends on our motivation or how much we are hurting. Oops. Please don't hurt us for this though. 5. Singing. A part of our emotion release process is singing. And we do not care about whether we could actually sing or not as long as nobody's on the other side of their bedroom door secretly listening, because we'd immediately stop. Trust me, we know because we can literally sense everything. 6. Listening. INFPs are great listeners. We always enjoy listening to music, especially the ones that make us sad or sadder. You know, we need it for our um art. We listen to upbeat songs too though, don't get us wrong. INFPs are also great friends because we are great listeners. We'd even listen to you rant about your problem for the 37th time, and you will barely hear us complain about it. 7. Lurking. Okay, maybe not lurking but observing. INFPs are often too shy to ask you personal questions, so we try to get to know you through your social media, but only if we are interested. We also tend to watch people we like or don't from afar. See, we notice everything. We feel everything. And if we finally sense like you are a nice person and you probably wouldn't hurt us, then we might finally initiate a conversation with you. This rarely happens though. 8. Hiding. You read it right. When an INFP feels sad or is just not feeling it, we hide a retreat or ghost or whatever to recover. We hide to recharge. You might not hear from us after a lunch out for up to 8 months, but I swear you didn't do anything wrong. Or maybe you did. It's hard to explain. Pro tip. When this happens, know that we can be usually found in the forest, on top of a tree, in a library or a bookstore, or maybe we're just silently painting in our room. 9. Thinking. When INFPs are quiet and we're not doing anything, we're doing something for sure, and that is thinking. INFPs think a lot. We think about death, space aliens, unicorns, why our cats ignored us 52 seconds ago, birds, fairies, a lot, philosophy, our favorite books, favorite dead authors and just about anything. Then again, I'm sad to say that you usually won't know what we're thinking about unless we want. Tell you directly because you're important, or we too. Write about it. 10. Loving. We INFPs are extremely passionate, sensitive and loving people. We just love our families and pets way too much and so well. You can be sure an INFP loves you when he or she tells and shows you. However, we usually only love from afar, and I don't know why. Side dot if you think we like or love you, and there's no chance of knowing where you stand with us, read what we write, tweet, and draw about, and you'll see everything we could ever permit you to know. Trust me, I'm an INFP.